Okay, so what we've got there is a French horn uh, being played in the Wivy, which is the one under instruments orchestral uh, interface. This is the standard French horn one, and it's being controlled using the Rolly Seaboard Rise 25 um, Keywave keyboard. So um, the Rolly has an interesting way of controlling instruments. It uses aftertouch as a dynamic control, so the harder you push on the clever rubberized keys, um, it sends out continuous messages of aftertouch. It also has a pitch bend control and it has a CC74 in the push and pull direction so you can uh, add dynamics. For this demonstration I'm just showing some very simple um, brass and maybe some woodwinds layered up in uh, the Wivy interface. So at the moment I'm uh, set, if I just go down to my Rolly dashboard I'm set to single mode on channel one so I'm a monophonic output so it's only outputting one channel at a time and I will I'll show you how that's important by switching back to multi mode and then going having a play of that same French horn so you can see here my output is on channel one it's been received by channel one with the French horn if I play two notes That kind of wibbly wobbly noise you can hear there is me actually accidentally pushing the first note and holding it. So sometimes when you do legato phrasing, you may keep your finger on the previous note and go to the second note just to guarantee you have an overlap. Unfortunately with the rolly, as you lift your finger off the preceding note, it will send the aftertouch information which will affect the second note if you're in polyphonic mode. So I'll just demonstrate that again, a really forte first note and I'll go to a second note. Did you hear that? It was kind of a glulululub, and that was the sound of the, the key being released from the previous. So if I go back to the dashboard and put this on single mode now, and do the same, the first finger was sustained as well on the first note, but you could hear that the second note was dominant over the first note. So that's a really useful hint when you're doing monophonic lines, if you're a little bit lazy like I am and leave fingers lying all over the keys while you're playing monophonic phrases. Um, turn it on to mono mode and the second note won't be interfered with the preceding note. So um, the setup with Wivy is very, very simple. Wivy is designed uh, for wind controllers and the like. Uh, and the only thing you really need to play with is this chap here. Dynamic CC1 set to AT or aftertouch. You've got a whole load of selections here. You can go through all of the uh, CCs, but we'll leave that on aftertouch. And if you really want to, you can set the second dynamic control on velocity. Uh, if you do that, it, it, it helps your attack a little bit. If you listen to the... As you hit harder... you get a nicer attack on the um, on the brass. So um, that's it. Uh, that gives you what you want in Wivy. It gives you monophonic uh, lines with full dynamic control from uh, piano all the way through to uh, mezzo forte and forte. So if I just play one note, I'm just going to choose a note, let's say B flat. You can hear how quiet you've got control over. Something that's actually quite nice about the Rolly is that just a slight wobble of your key will wobble the pitch. Um, talk to a, a French horn player and they'll tell you they don't use much vibrato. Um, so if you really want to, to you, could, uh, you could actually do a mariachi French horn like this. Uh, and that would be uh, a little bit odd. Although it actually does sound quite fun. Um, so you've got that pitch control. But the great thing is also you've got the pitch control to do bends between notes so so that's really quite fun if you don't want to be limited by um, just semitones you can although you'd be hard pushed to do them on a French horn you can do some pretty good effects but you can see with trombones and the like this will be quite uh, quite fun so that's a uh, monophonic instrument. Um, the only annoyance with Wivy is the pitch bend doesn't keep itself where it is when you change sounds. So if you go down to the bottom of the window here on the right, 
you'll see the pitch bend range is set to plus 12 and minus 12. Let's just say I want to audition French horn uh, 3. There's French horn 3. Go down. It's gone back to minus 1 and plus 1. So if you do want to change your sound, you have to click, drag down, click, drag up, or save each instrument as a preset, which is what I've done with the right positioning in the orchestra. So uh, that's a French horn now 3, and we can do... And you've got the full control as we had before. So uh, that is it for controlling. Uh, that's how you do uh, a monophonic line in, in Wivy. And all the instruments respond in almost identical ways. If you're feeling a bit worried, and let's just say the, uh, the FFF is a bit too bright for you on that, you can down the bottom here, where is it? Uh, dynamic range here. We can set the dynamic range to... Um, anything we fancy so we can uh, we can move that around and we can also change the the filtering and the EQ and the maximum gain so you can actually change and as you, if you've used Wivy at all you'll know what else you can do with the uh, with the tones so if you're feeling a bit worried you can change that you don't need to go into any other controllers and change that